Hey YouTube, this is Mega Weasel coming at you from the great Indiana wilderness here and uh, today we are going to talk a little bit about Joe Comp. There seems to be some interest so we're going to uh, go ahead and, and see if we can uh, refine what we're talking about here a little bit uh, so we can kind of all get on the same page. Okay, now this is not going to be, I understand guys, okay, you want to talk in like, you know, foot pounds and tensile strengths and, you know, and millimeters and microns and well, you know, this ain't going to work like that. Uh, and I'll tell you why. Because Joe Comp um, is the kind of technology that even though you've got, you know, the Black and Power, the Black and Decker uh, power work table and the freaking nuclear steam heater and this, that, and the other thing, okay, what we're trying to come up with here is a technology that, uh, you know, our hero, the New World Survivor, can use. And where the New World Survivor is right now, okay, is, you know, on the week after uh, whatever happened, happened, uh, he's squatting out next to a pit house with a pan full of hot rocks and some, uh, some bags that he's managed to scrounge out of the dumpster. And he's trying to use that to survive, you know, and that's the way that we're going to, uh, that's the way we're going to build this thing. Now, uh, now everything I make is, I'll use certain standard terms, and y'all can use them or not use them, or, you know, tell them to go boink a duck or whatever, I, you know, but here's the deal, okay. We need to talk about the kind of bags we're looking for. This, I'm going to call a shiny, okay? This is the standard clear trash bag, often used as trash bags, laundry bags, things like this, okay? This is a shiny. Uh, these things are frequently found in dumpsters. Um, you know, it's not hard to put together a lot of shinies. Let me see what else we got here. This is a gimme. This is a shopping bag that you can get anywhere. Okay, this particular one is like a Babs gimme, but you know, you can get Walmart gimmies or Kroger gimmies. These uh, bags, although, you know, they're small and they don't necessarily, uh, you know, have a lot of tensile strength as they sit, okay, uh, they can be Joe Comp, but what they're really good for is making cord. These are some of the best cord bags that there are. And uh, if you do it right, you can get all the way down to fish line and yarn, keep braiding up, and you can go through the cord. And finally, braiding cords together, you can get rope. Okay, and all that's out of gimmicks. Those are great little bags, you know, the environment's full of them, you'll be able to pick them up all over the place. So, shinies, gimmies. These are trashies, all right? This is the standard household trash bag. It's not very thick, okay? When uh, it's used in a two-ply configuration, you know, it's kind of translucent. Again, the environment's full of that, okay? These are trashies. And then, of course, we have our heavies. And the heavies are your long and leaf bags and your contractor trash bags. Uh, those are solid gold. They're always very good to, uh, to pick up if you can find them. Okay. And uh, so we now have our heavies. Now, in working with Joe Comp, because we are talking about old Homer who's squatting out by his pit house next to the fire with a pan full of hot rocks, and his wife, if she's a girl with any sense at all, is sitting home losing a strip poker with the Illuminati commander while the kids get used to their new school. Old Homer, he's out here in the woods next to his pit house, and he's uh, trying to memorize quotes by Thomas Jefferson and keep his balls from freezing off. And what he's got is some trash bags, a pan full of hot rocks, and, you know, his uh, patriosity. So... What he's going to try and do here is we're going to make 
some easy things, okay, that we can make into harder things. First thing we need to be able to make is a flat. A flat, strangely enough, is a four ply, four ply piece of whatever kind of bag we're using, okay? So we have here, this is a trashy flat. It's exactly the size of a piece of copy paper, sort of, okay? We have our shiny flats, and we have our heavy flats, okay? Of course, you can make gimme flats if you want to do that, but again, you know, I haven't found out that there's a whole lot of benefit in that. Um, we're going to take our flats, okay, and the reason why we the reason why we're doing this, okay, is it's a small piece. Uh, we can use it on a small work surface, okay, and yet we can very easily put these things together to form larger pieces. Okay, and the way that we do that is either going to be by melding or by seaming. Melding is the process of putting the face of two sheets of Joe Comp together. So, a meld is we take our, and we're going to use an iron here because I don't want to burn my house down. Take our two flats, and we are simply going to meld those together at the edges. I'm going to let this cool a minute. You know, it's important to be patient and let this stuff cool, because otherwise you will stretch it out of shape and put holes in it. You let the paper bubble up, you know, and you can, you can see when it's getting into that cow. So. satisfied with the result, we can go back over it again, and again, and again, and again, you know, as many times you have to, pan a hot rod. That's a little bit better. Okay, let that cool a second. And, uh, okay. And we now, Two trashy flats melded to make a sheet. Okay, two trashy flats melded to make a sheet. Now the problem with most of your you know materials is is that um, if there's a seam in a material, uh, it's weaker at the seam. That's not the case with Jocom. In fact, this stuff because of the way that it welds together, is stronger at the seam. The seam is actually the strongest part, okay? So, this is a meld. We're now gonna make a seam.